Welcome back to the channel guys today we have HEV 400 with us and before we talk about the specification and take a look inside let's take a quick walk around and let's see what Mahindra is offering now I would even say that Mahindra is offering this as a first uh, electric vehicle because if you remember Mahindra did launch as a first stepping stone in the electric area and it had a Vinito it was a sedan if you guys remember I I'll, I'll try to have it on the screen as well but particularly talking about this car now this car comes in three variants and five colors so the base variant which is called as XUB 400 EC and the middle variant is called as Mahindra 400 EC fast charge the top variant which is this this is called as XUB 400 EL fast charge now talking about fast charge and slow basically charge the difference you get both the charges in ACs and DC basically DC charges you're going to get it at the petrol stations or on the highways basically for house particularly and the and the office areas uh, you're going to get an AC charges now even in AC charges you're going to get two options as standard you will have three kilowatt charges which is going to take approximately 13 hours to charge the battery in this vehicle for full and whereas the 7 kilowatt charger it is going to take approximate 8 hours to charge uh, to, to bring this to full charging now whereas DC charges it is saying Mahindra is claiming that at DC charges it is going to charge at 50 minutes and I think 50 minutes is a, is, is a pretty decent time well now talking about the colors you're going to get five colors again so this is the Napoli black and then you have gray galaxy gray and then the other uh, color is Everest white if I'm not wrong and then you're going to get Arctic blue and infinity blue and all these colors you're going to get in dual tone as well well this is the dual tone and the whole difference about the base color and the dual tone color is just the rooftop that you're going to get all in copper color and that is all now taking a look at the front profile first I think Mahindra has done a very good job and it is stepping in the electric area to give a tough competition to uh, Nexon well I love the piano black grill with some copper touches and everything so talking about the Design. headlight and below the headlight there are some few, uh, chrome touches as well and on the bonnet as well well on the bonnet you get a gray uh, gray cladding with matte finished plastic but this is a uh, hot plastic and right above that you get a little uh, space for, for the air and moreover the whole grill is in piano black and this grill, uh, this grill is closed which is right below the number plate now talking about the design I think Mahindra has done a very good job it has it has not really worked upon as compared to XUV 300 it is a straight 300 to 400 uh, changeover but yes the total width of uh, the, the total width about the car is 1821 millimeter now talking about the headlights basically the headlights are follow me home headlights with DRLs and with DRLs it, it, it is a halogen and a projector headlamp we are going to take a look inside uh, the bonnet as well because it does have a fan to cool down the Siemens motor which runs the whole battery pack and everything now taking a look inside the bonnet as you lift this thing up it is light but you get a standard standy to hold it up but at this price point which is for the top model is 1899 X showroom I think you deserve a hydraulic now moving at the center of this thing there is nothing much to talk about but yes there are a few things that we can have an emphasis on and I'm sure you're not going to open it again and again as this is not an engine but you get you do not get an insulation and I think as standard you should have an insulation no matter what because at the end heat is going to be there now moving forward at the center you have a Siemens motor which is magnetic permanent synchronous motor at a capacity of 39.4 kilowatt hour talking about the performance it has 148 bhp and 310 newton meter of torque next to it is the excite battery and next to it is the fuse box but what is interesting to me is a safety feature that Mahindra has given me here is an emergency lever zip line right in front of the fuse box you have a zip line I don't know if you guys can see it or not you can pull this off in case you are in a collision or in case your battery is working malfunctionally and in case you are able to lift it up to cut out the powers now next to it and next to the motor it has uh, it has a 
ECU charger and three coolant to cool it off. Now the cables that you are able to see are in orange are the high voltage cable which is again moving uh, with the battery. Right behind me is a, is a AC charger which is a standard from Mahindra and Mahindra is going to fix it up for you guys at the house parking or the office parking wherever suits you now you get this in two options as i've mentioned it earlier now this is a, as standard you're going to get a three kilowatt charger which is going to take about 13 hours to complete the charging and the second option that you have is a seven kilowatt charger which is going to take about Sorry. eight hours to uh, get this vehicle charged on a full you also have a DC option, but at the end you're going uh, to get on it. the highways or on the petrol stations, which is going to take 15 minutes to charge this whole vehicle. Now I think these are impressive numbers and at a range of 470 kilometers. Now talking about the side profile, let's talk about the tires first. Now these tires are in dual tone and diamond cut alloys, which is at a specification of 205 by 65. Now these are 16 inches of rim. In the front. You have Mac Pearson which starts an anti-roll bar suspension system and in all four tires you get discs. Now talking about discs, it, it also has EBD and ABS along with it. Right above the tires you get clad, cladding in black and as we move backward you have the ORVMs in the body color. Now these are going to retrace and get back to its uh, the resting position as you lock and unlock the car. Now these are side indicators but they, it does not have uh, cameras below it. Or, talking about the ORVMs, you get this in black color and side indicators. Well, moving backward, talking about the locks, you get a passive entry here with key just in case you lose the battery in the remote system. Well, right below it, you get cladding in black with copper strips. Now moving backward, you have a passenger door, you can you don't get a passive entry for here. So the passive entry is for the drivers and not the rest of the doors. Now moving at the roof, you have a roof rail in piano black finish and the total length of this car is 4200 millimeter and a wheelbase of about 2600. The height of this vehicle is 1634 millimeter. Now let's take a look at the back and check out boot space it has to offer. Now taking a look at the back profile of this car, let's talk about the lights first. Now these lights are half halogen, half LED. As far as the stop indicators, it, they are in LED, but as far as the side indicator and the reverse indicator, they are in bulb, so it is halogen again. Below it, you have an XUV400 logo, which is colored in copper again, emphasizing the electric version of Mahindra. Uh, right below it, you have the bumper with two reverse parking sensors. Next to it are the night reflectors. In the center, you, you get gray cladding, and above that is the number plate area which also has a lighting and rear view camera. Right above the camera you get copper uh, Mahindra logo and above that you have the wipers for, for the rear windshield. Now these wipers work along with the rain sensing wipers that you have. It also has a defogger for the windshield. Uh, next to the washer you have stop LED tail lights. On the roof you get power antenna but as you open this thing you get 370 liters of massive boot space but at this price point i'm again emphasizing that other manufacturers are giving tail uh, uh, boot tail in electronic and you can adjust it by phone you guys know what i'm talking about but let's open it now as you open it you get uh, it gets traced automatically up but to close it you do not get a button but you have to pull it down manually now these seats uh, are 60 40 split you can as well uh, push it down and have a bigger space for you in case you carry something massive so you you have a facility to pull it down and have a bigger boot space for yourself now finally we're sitting inside the xuv 400 el fast charger now as you look inside it is all going to be in black and well as you move inside and sit it is a 60 40 split bench but you can have a third person along with yourself and he or she is going to be comfortable because you also get a third person headrest now the armrest is also retraceable you can pull it back and have the third person sitting comfortably here with two cup holders now as we move forward on the passenger seat and on the driver's seat you have a magazine holders which is in a ropes a rope thing working out 
well on the seating area you, you also get child mounted fixtures as well now talking about the door you get basic everything here and you have power window button right above that you have speakers and on, on all four doors you get four speakers simultaneously well right below it you get some space for documentation and for your water bottle and nothing else is over there well, now talking about the safety you do get six airbag in this vehicle one for the driver one for the passenger now if, if you are a passenger you have an access for center led light now before we move inside and check out the car let's let's take a look at the key fob now mahindra is offering this basic key with every variant and every model that it has so these are basic keys again lock unlock and you can operate the boot directly from here now if you press this button you again have the key out but this these are just for the doors you cannot have it uh, slug it inside the dashboard but now let's open the door now these are automatic windows on the driver's side but on the passenger and on the pass uh, on the uh, on the rear passenger doors you get basic power windows now talking about the door it has basic function but the best part is you get padded armrest now on this side you have the speakers your basic uh, controls for the lock unlock and and, and the mirrors also the orvm adjusters below that you have basic uh, documentation uh, and uh, water bottle space area and i think it's massive you can have the water bottle or any other bottle two bottles simultaneously and i think this is a big space for this vehicle now the driver seat is height adjusted you can easily adjust it uh, as per your convenience and as per your height moving inside you have the headlight lamp leveler you can adjust it on the basic three levels of it above that you get piano black finish with with, with copper trims now the steering wheel is wrapped in leather cover in the center you have mahindra logo with bordering of blue color and the reason it isn't blue color here and there is because it has blue sense plus now it helps you to connect better with the car and it, it notices your behavior and how it moves so on the steering wheel you get the logo at the center horn and airbag here as well on the left of the steering wheel are the volume controls and the mute button you can also operate the infotainment system from here as well you can answer and reject the call from this button moving on the left you do not get a cruise control here but yes you can have access for the voice commands right behind that uh, are the indicator controller and the headlight adjuster so let's switch on the vehicle and see so yes again you have analog uh, tachometer and the speedometer this comes in four modes which we'll talk about it later but yes the infotainment system screen let's switch it off the yes the in, infotainment uh, it has a 7 inch infotainment screen with piano black finish all over it the ac ones are basic and below below the infotainment system you get basic buttons which is for the home navigation you you get integrated navigator as you guys can see easily you can directly have the phone engaged from here so you get bluetooth connection bluetooth settings android and apple play as well now you can go back home again radio you can switch off the display if you want the program you can have the sound adjuster as per your convenience you can set the tone the eq volume sdvc display display of units in case you are, you can set an image if you want in case you want to switch off the display you can have the image it can run if you switch it off you can add your name here as well that's a nice feature 
the system yes basics everything is basic here nothing fancy as well you can have a tire pressure monitoring system as well DRLs you can on and off from directly here as well that's a nice feature over oh, Now right below this you get the defogger button as well as you can on and off your airbags just in case you want or do not want but this button isn't working. Now th this is for all the indicators to work in case you are in fog or in case you are in collision or in case any emergency again you know better. Instead of you working your hands over there to set the trip meter you can set things from here as well. Now that for the drive modes at this moment it is on the fun mode which is for the city and you you can see the lights changing as as you change the mode so as we go on with the fast mode it does not change anything but yes on, on, on the fearless mode it changes the light as in red because fearless mode again for Mahindra for us it is sports and for Mahindra it is fearless mode now you get a start stop button system which is nice and right below it you can set the temperature and have the light adjusted towards it that's nice so you have the AC controller here as well so these are all manual buttons to, uh, to, to have your AC working for you so this is the defogger this is for the intake and your air, air flow adjuster you can have it on your floor as well and air max you can put the AC and max here as well but we're not going to operate it so uh, talking about the gear lever yes it has wire system here because it does not have proper mechanism for the for the gear so it, it has a wiring system built in for the gears so you the I love the gear lever because it is really elegant you can set the parking by just pressing it here you have the rear neutral and drive mode so this is the indicator where your gear lever is at the moment and it is on park and on the side what do we have here yeah on the side you can lock the lever from here so now here behind the lever behind the gear lever you have some space for the cup holders and a handbrake over here well you do get a padded armrest which is nice and you can have some space here as well down there it's nice yeah looking at the passenger area you get some space to keep your documentation or your mobile phone or anything like that that's nice and you have a decent uh, glove box to be honest it's nice you can keep at least two to three bottles of water so I did not show you this so you can operate your moon roof or the sun roof because you do not get a panoramic roof over here but yes you get a basic moon roof over there and you can directly operate it from here let's try that okay so again the lights here you, know, you have a sunglass holder uh, now these rear view mirrors these are this is manual but you can have as a Mahindra accessory which are for the day and night both now talking about the sun visors you get nothing over here and nothing over there as well but you get a, a voice command sensor here as far as the passenger yes you get a vanity mirror with the light so I think ladies you can have your lipstick fix here as well so this is the review for the Mahindra and do let me know what you think about it so guys this was it today for, with XUV 400 EL fast charger well I think it is a very good product and I think you should go for it considering the competition as well you should have a look at it drive it and then come to your conclusion 
not talking about everything particularly i like then i like the interior to be honest most because the exterior is a little bit outdated because you have the same exterior for xuv 300 as well i think this was it and do let me know what you guys think in the comment and if you have your friend who is trying to buy this car share the video with them and do let me know what are your thoughts in the comment down below see you in the next one